in this video, I'm going to show you my top foods at Shibuya Scramble Square, a Japanese department store. So we're back, we're doing another Japanese department store video, this time at Scramble Square here in Shibuya, my hometown. Scramble Square is actually one of the newest buildings here in Tokyo, recently built in Shibuya. It's right next to Hikarie and Stream department stores, and it just has an awesome selection of food, and I definitely had to show you in this video. I'm so excited. I'm feeling the love. Michael, are you feeling the love? Then come over here and show me that love. Oh. Hey guys! Yeah, so Michael's feeling that love. And what you'll find is a lot of department stores in Tokyo as well as just like throughout Japan. If you're just shopping for clothes and just random things, always check the basement because a lot of them have department store food. And I'm pumped to show you because it's in my home station. But in fact, this actually might not be my home station soon because as you know or you don't know, Maiko is pregnant and this place is just way too small for us. We're looking for a bigger place to stay and we might not be able to stay in Shibuya for longer so I want to take advantage of this time. All of the drama and all of the stuff that's going on, it's happening on our other channel called Tokyo Zebras. But before I start, if you guys want to see what I'm doing on the daily, check out my Instagram account. If you want to help support the channel, then check out the Tokyo and Japan merch. And also, if you have questions about Japan or just want to connect with people who love Japan, check out my Discord community. Oh, I'm so excited to show you my favorite top 10. Number 10. Ebi Ten Oshi Zushi from Kaneko Hanosuke. This spot is originally a famous tempura shop in Nihonbashi. They've got those fried hitters like freshly fried tempura, tendon bentos, or tenmusu, which is a fried shrimp onigiri. But today, I wanted to show you that limited edition good good. So this spot has quite a unique and a flavorful experience ready in a box. They have this Oshi Zushi. Hard to tell in this box, so let me kind of open it up for you. So I don't know if we're supposed to do this, but we're doing it anyway. First, flip it upside down. Shake it a little bit. Flip it up like so. Oh, crazy. So you can see that it's kind of like not your regular sushi in the terms of like the shape. On top of it, you have these little pieces of shrimp that have been put into this tempura like batter. If you ever have like kaki age, like on top of your soba, kind of looks like that, or maybe like a, on, on your udon. Just take a bite. So it's a really, really interesting flavor. You know, usually the tempura itself is really oily, but in fact, this is kind of more of like a refreshing taste, kind of like a slight vinegar taste. Plus it has some ginger in there and the whole rice itself, sometimes there's not a lot of flavor to it, but this one, you can see that it's all brown from the sauce and it has some shiso in it. Very, very refreshing. And something that's interesting about tempura is that usually it's not made to be soggy, but this tempura, is kind of made to be sauced up like this. It's nice. Number nine, Character Pal from Sun Wain. This shop is originally a Taiwanese fusion restaurant, which is known for its uber cute and character buns. They also have all kinds of Taiwanese specialties like seafood fried rice and shrimp chilies. It looks like he's climbing the pyramid. The kids are gonna love this. <laughs> and maybe the people that love food that looks like little animals and mushrooms. This panda is a black sesame paste and this nezumi, this kind of like mouse looking thing, is a sweet bean paste and walnut. This pink mushroom is a purple sweet potato and macadamia nuts. And finally, this is the one I like the most. It's actually the most popular. It's the roast pork chashu. Look at this. Okay, so let me just open this up. Oh, I'm gonna break, you, break your belly. Like my hands are like getting quiet oily right now. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, oh that's nice. So the, the pork inside is kind of like a mashed potato texture, but the taste itself is quite sweet. Do have like little chunks of meat like right in there. That's a little bit savory. The top outside is crusted brown, so it's been like fried, whereas the bottom is still very much like Nikuman here in Japan. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat all of them today. <laughs> Michael can choose one of them to show you guys. Yay! 
So I am so excited to try this. I've seen this all over the TV, like when Scramble Square just opened. Everybody talked about this one. It's so cute. A little bit more cute, but I think I'm gonna try this Usagi the rabbit. I thought it was a mouse. It's Usagi! <laughs> I said mouse. So this is supposed to be tsubu and kurumi, so sweet bean paste and walnut. Yeah, take mouse. It's not that sweet, and the walnut chunks are pretty big, so like it has a really good crunch. Number 8 Pork and Butter Chicken Curry at Nuka. Nuka's curry is additive free using more than 10 flavorful spices to go with their original Nikase Genmai rice, which is a matured Japanese brown rice cooked in a pressure pot to create a unique, chewy, and flavor filled sensation. Oh, ho, ho. look at this insane plate of curry. And you have two different curries. You have chicken and you have pork. I just can't wait. Let me just take a bite now. This is like their special rice here. If you look at the rice itself, it's quite sticky. It's genmai, so you get a little bit more texture as well as just like it's really sticky. Like it's almost kind of like, if you ever had like mochi before, it's very much similar to that. And it's really nice because they have some like pickled carrots and some pickled onions. It just gives it kind of like that fresh pop. But this curry is insane. So that is the chicken itself. Let's have a bite. Mm. And I have to say the chicken is prepared pretty well. So it's nice to get kind of like a mix of two different curries in one plate. It's not like one is sweeter or like what other one is more savory. It's just they've used different spices all together just to like bring out different flavors. Oh, I should also mention at the center of the floor there's a standing table area where you can enjoy your newly purchased treats. And they've even got a microwave. Number 7 Square Yakisoba and Milk Saki from Kimura Milk Kimura Milk is a delightful bakery brand new to the scene from the Kimuraya Bakery in Ginza which dates back more than 140 years. Kimuraya is known for its traditional anpan and milkshakes known very much so for bringing boys to the yard. And on top of that, they have these ultra unique square shaped sozai breads with a bit of Japanese flair. <laughs> I got some sozai pan and my milkshake. It's just like a nice, perfect cube. On top it has some beni shogel, which is like a red pickled ginger. And then I think it has some aonori on top that usually goes on top of yakisoba. Let me just cut this open. Yeah! I always like to smell food before I eat it. You can get that yakisoba smell. Mmm, it definitely has that yakisoba taste. Like the bread itself is like your Danish, almost like a croissant on the outside. What a carb induced pastry. It's like carbs within carbs. So if you're running the Tokyo Marathon, then maybe have a little bit of this. But yeah, I can see now why you'd want to have some milkshake with this. And let me. Milk shake. Oh, it's not shake. I said shake in there. Milku seki. I guess, or maybe I'm getting confused because I think Seki is shake, but maybe Michael's saying it's not shake. Rewind to the footage. It's a shake. Oh, it has like a jelly tapioca kind of feeling inside. And also it's a custard. So the milk has kind of like this yellow, they add like a yellowish mix to it and it tastes like a really, really strong custard, which is nice. It has like a really strong dashi smell. Hmm, itadakimasu. Mmm, no here. Oh, mine has a lot of mayonnaise in here. What do you think of the taste of the yakisoba? It's good. The noodles are mochi mochi. It is vinegary. It goes so well with the sweet bread. I originally like yakisoba pan, but it's usually like on the regular bread, like usually like a long form and like have the yakisoba in the middle. I feel like I'm not eating yakisoba pan, which is kind of like boy things to eat. <laughs> but this is kind of trendy and cute, so I think. I think it's nice. Number six, 
Vegan Vento from Peace Cafe Hawaii. This spot is originally from a vegan cafe created by Japanese chef Shota Terai in Hawaii. They offer a 100% plant-based deli and drinks. You can order dishes one by one, get that loco moco, that taco rice, or do what I did and customize your plate. So this one is a labor of love because this one is for all of my vegan fans. You guys continue to ask me, Paolo, do some vegan food. Paolo, show us your vegan spots. I'm not a vegan, believe it or not, as I eat karaage all the time. But this one, it's kind of like their set meal. Basically, you get to choose a main dish and then you get to choose like two different side dishes. You can get like all sorts of different things, but I'm gonna focus here on guess what? The tofu katsu. Yeah, if we're gonna have to do vegan, we're gonna make it fried. And it came with a fork which apparently is biodegradable. And it came with a sauce too. This sauce should be vegan friendly. Let me just taste this sauce. It's like a Worcestershire sauce kind of, but very like thick and puree. Right, let me just take a bite. Whoa. Hey! It's pretty good. I was expecting the tofu to be a little bit more milky, like really like tofu, but this one is kind of like a dry tofu. A lot more texture to it. They've almost used like extra panko to give it the crispiness and like to give you that sensation like you're eating meat. <coughs> oh wow, my body can't believe it's not meat. <laughs> Number five. Karaage from Karaageya Oshu Iwai. Oshu Iwai is an award-winning karaage shop in Iwate Prefecture. Their most popular karaage is made with Oshu Iwai Dori chicken, marinated in their Area 51-like secret sauce. But here's a hint. It's a golden ratio of soy sauce, ginger, and onion. Love looks like this! <laughs> For you guys that don't know, this is karaage, also known as fried chicken, also known as love. <laughs> and they also have like the regular standard winner. This one is like a shoyu base and this one is a cinnamon base. So they actually, you can just get whatever you want, but I wanted to show you guys the mix. So if you wanted to try different types of karaage, then this is it. Um, what I did though, when I take it home, instead of putting it in the microwave, I like to put it in the toaster oven to like make it just like a little bit more crispy. Mmm nice and crunchy you can definitely taste the ginger in there the chicken you can tell that it's been marinated in some like soy sauce and this one is a shoyu version let's take a bite of this let's just take a bite out of all of them the ginger is still like prevalent in this one compared to the other one i want to i want a beer right now and finally the cinnamon yeah and also you can like smell the the spices on it as well So this has like our nori flakes. The cinnamon isn't as strong as the our nori. You can smell the cinnamon, but nori flavor is a little bit stronger. It's just an interesting taste. Like you'd never get like that on fried chicken. So maybe worth trying like all three if you ever like get a chance. Number four, Shibuya Scramble Milfi from Hana Iro. Hana Iro is a go-to sushi shop on this floor. They use fresh seaweed from the Ariake area for their sushi rolls, which are a must try. But today, I'm going dango deep into the Shibuya Scramble store limited special. It's called the Shibuya Scramble Milfi. Milfi? Milfi you. Yeah, these French words are tough for me. <laughs> they always kill me. It has negi toro, it has ikura, it has uni, ebi shrimp, and it also has some squid on top, a bit of rice, and you think that's it, but it's actually more down and below, but we need to kind of eat the top layer before we get there. So let me just dabble in this and mix it all up just like so. Look at that bite. I love negi toro, so just having that little extra negi toro on there ain't so bad. Mmm. Oh, that negi toro is nice and smooth. It's a little spicy. So it's like they've actually put a little bit of mentaiko, like a spicy mentaiko on the squid. Mmm. Damn, that's good. Oh, and so you got some sea urchin right there. Udi is one of a kind and like the thing is when you go to places it's either like fresh seafood or it's not and you can tell and this is quite fresh. Oh so it looks like you have some spinach or maybe takana. I don't know I always get confused with like the different vegetables here in Japan. Oh yeah look at that we got some salmon in there. Woohoo! And all the way at the bottom we got some 
ginger. A bunch of surprises. It's like Easter egg hunt. <laughs> It's because it was so deep. Oh, I hate eating after you. Take <laughs> I think the key here is to eat everything all together. So you get like the mixture of like a different type of fish or like uni, kura. This kombu does a good job too to add texture. And no, shake flake mo ishii ne. Number three Menchi Katsu Tabe Kurabi said from Q Menchi. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I really don't know. I literally want to eat everything. We got the crunchy crunch hitters. Look at that. It almost comes like in a hamburger box. You can like see so it's already feel how excited I am. Woohoo! They have all sorts of fried loveliness at this place. They have these like little cube katsus as well. Like it has like different sauces like fondue and like tomato and stuff, which is also pretty decent. But man, I had to show you guys the menchi katsu. Ta da! Can you just see like the angel halo on top of this? Basically, you have the kin no menchi and you have the gin no menchi. The kin no menchi is like straight up pork. Another one is like a mix between beef and pork. So you can choose or just have both like me. Let me start with gold and break this up halfway. Oh, you can see the juices. So let me just take a bite. I can't. I've been talking way too much. Mmm. Wow, that is a perfect. The meat is cooked so well. There's just so much flavor. It has kind of like a slight sweetness and it's super crunchy on the outside. Look at that golden brown. Look at this. Oh. And then this one, you can tell the gold one is round while this silver one is like kind of like a longer mashed potatoes kind of looking thing. That too is phenomenal. I feel like I like the silver more. The onions are, they're actually smaller in this one. This one has kind of more of like a, an elegant, refined menjikatsu taste, I think. Either one is a winner. Number two, Unagi Tamagodon from Tamagoya. This immensely popular fluffy omurice restaurant, Pomonoki, opened up their very own oyakodon shop. Their eggs are so buttery and fluffy, it had me checking my nails like Lizzo. <laughs> I hope I don't crack my egg on the way home. <laughs> so this place is known for their egg dishes and they have all sorts of different like egg rice bowls, different combinations like mentaiko, chicken, and even pork. But today I wanted to show you one of my favorites, which is the unagi. Basically you take it and then you pour the egg and the unagi on top of the rice and then you take the raw egg and you mix it around. Then you pour that on top of the egg and the unagi kind of gives it more of that liquidy, runny, lusciousness. And then from the dashi, you put the nori and it's just a Christmas all over again. You can see how like they've cooked the eggs. They almost like cooked it halfway. And then during the process, they just kind of put it on top so that you get this like kind of fluffy and watery egg, which I just love. Let me just take a bite of this. Wow. Holy damn. That is a monster of a freaking flavor. That is amazing. Um, there's just uh, so much juice in this entire rice bowl. The eggs are really nice. The unagi itself, it's tender. Mmm. Don't eat it. I feel like you're eating all of it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's so good. I can eat this whole thing by myself. It's <laughs> <laughs> I really really like this. The eggs are like light and fluffy with the dashi and like a soupy texture. It's super light. <laughs> it's delicious. Number one. Salmon and Ikura Seidomeshi at Kinkume. Kinkume is a Japanese seafood specialty shop newly created at Scramble Square by Okume, a seafood wholesaler in Tsukiji with 150 years of earned history. 
All right, I got my ticket to ride. The shop has a designated eat-in space in the back floor of Tokyo Food Show, where you can enjoy their amazing Sado Meishi rice and toppings steam cooked in a bamboo steamer. So I ordered their Steamin' Demon Classic Salmon and Ikura Sado Meishi. Oh, look at this. The rice is covered with a fresh king salmon and a healthy portion of salmon roe. Basically what you want to do is eat the rice and the fish and the salmon roe all together by itself and then we'll put on toppings later. Wow, you can smell the fresh Mitsuba, which is like the green vegetable here. Wow, that fish tastes so fresh. And then you have like this little salty flavor of the Ikura in there. You can really taste the umami from that fish coming out. That's insanely good. And this place, because they steam it right here at the store before they serve it, all of the salmon and salmon roe flavors get kind of sucked into the rice and just makes the taste just pop with all of this umami. And as a side, it comes with this yakumi. So you have some wasabi, you have some seaweed, you have some like crunchy like kind of like a breaded texture and then you have a some mibuna so you have it I've just added all of the yakumi on there and then you take some of the dashi from the kettle that they have here you got like kind of like a new porridge style dish and it's called dashi chazuke oh. That is a strong dashi. That's nice. I thought the rice and the fish combination was good. Try it with the additional dashi. And there's just a, so much more flavor. It's crazy. It's kind of like a waterfall of flavors. You get that strong dashi flavor. Then you have the umami from the fish and the salmon roll. Then you get the sweetness of the rice. And it's just all of the pairing and all of that is just a delicious combination. All right, so that concludes the video. If you liked it, help me out and hit that like button. If you want to see what I'm doing on a daily, check out the Instagram account, our sponsor for this video. Display it without them, I wouldn't be able to continue making these videos for you guys. So if you don't already know, Display offers these handcrafted metal posters designed by these amazing artists. Like a lot of Japanese themed ones, like this one of this Japanese street, or this one of ramen, and this map of Tokyo. The metal posters are light, well-made, and durable, and come with their own mounting kit. Stick on the protective leaf like this, followed by the magnet, then boom, your metal poster is mounted. And if I want to change it from Tokyo Ramen to Tokyo Zebra, no problem. You can easily browse the display site, or you can even check my profile to see the collections I made. Japan streets, food, anime, culture, maps, and cars. Use my code and get up to 33% off until March 1st. And with every print you purchase, display plants one tree to help make this world a better place. So get your handcrafted metal poster today. Use my link and discount code in the description below. And finally, if you want to see more of these kind of guides, if you want to see Japan guides, then hit that subscribe button and the bell button and I'll catch you guys in the next one.